Hello everyone, this is just a quick update regarding my optical rig here. I have been getting <laughs> even more questions. Uh, first of all, the base plate. Uh, someone pointed out that my wooden plank didn't look so stable. So, And I am all for the details and it bothered me that it doesn't look that great. So I went out and uh, ordered a new base plate. Uh, I will get to that later. The other questions I have uh, been getting from several people is regarding the the two inch barrel uh, which accommodates um, uh, the two inch nose piece which uh, goes to the camera. So I was just thinking that I will go through uh, what the options are to get this uh, as good as possible. Uh, my barrel is a machined one, the outer diameter is 60 millimeters and the inner one is 2 inch which I have uh, made a, a, a really good fit for the two inch nose piece but uh, I went into my observatory and uh, took a look into my boxes and I found this this is a two inch extender and <laughs> I was very surprised that when I fitted the two inch nose piece inside of this the fit was quite good actually uh, and if I just tighten down the thumb screws which compress the brass ring inside, I can't move it. There, there's no there's no gap <laughs> anywhere. So I believe um, that the uh, two inch extender, this one is 50 millimeter long, will do as a barrel if you can't get a hold of a machined one. And this has two dimensions, so you can go with either exhaust pipe clamps, um, which will fit um, above this. Um, but don't order a too long one, because the camera ship is going to be around here. So the laser needs to um, hit the camera ship, so the laser dot doesn't uh, hit the, the side of this, uh, this barrel or the extender. So don't order a too long one. Uh, I believe this is just possibly just a tad uh, too long. The next one, uh, the next piece I have uh, altered is the clamp. The exhaust clamps wasn't as good as I want them to be. So I uh, drew a CAD print for a 60 millimeter hole and just a, a thin slit and 100 millimeter long M6 bolt, which then attaches into a V groove or a T T groove. I don't know what it's called, but it, it's this uh, nuts you slide in. The second thing I have changed is the base plate. Both this plate and this aluminium bar here is the 20 by 20 profile system. This is 20 millimeter thick and 100 millimeters uh, wide. So this is a 2100. So if you Google um, 2100 extruded aluminium profile, you will probably find something like this. What you also need, and I covered this in another video, is a 90 degree angle, some M5 or M6 bolts, depending on which nut you want to use. Uh, it's both, both of them are available for these T grooves, uh, both M5 and M6. For the laser pen, this is a momentary push button, that's why I have the Velcro here. Uh, you would go with an on-off, that would be a better choice. I just took what I had on hand and a 12mm hydraulic hose clamp which also is attached to the aluminium bar with the T-groove and some kind of piece of metal sheet with a white paper on it. Um, so this is it, but the main purpose of this short video is you can use a 2-inch extender. That will work just fine and in some way clamp it down. For the length, this is 35 centimeters long. I tried it on the wooden plate that was just a bit shorter. So yeah, 30 or 35 centimeters will do just fine. 
I will put some links to some of the parts needed. Um, I just search for Amazon, so I'll put them there. I am not affiliated with any of these sellers, but just it's just a, a, a pick of, of some of the parts. So I hope that uh, this will be the last video uh, on this rig, but I actually am quite happy with how uh, the look of this is. Thank you for watching. Bye.